We're thrilled you want to learn more about Hoff's innovative system. Check out how hard we worked so you don't have to. First, see what you get in each all-aluminum Hoft post kit. Quality post, anchor plate, post cap, rail blocks, spacers, section brackets, and all necessary hardware and instructions. The only tools that you will need for this Hoff system installation are a miter saw if your boards are not pre-cut, a level, a drill, and a measuring tape. Before starting your project, make sure you have the right boards, 5 fourths thickness for wood and 1 for composite. When purchasing your boards, be sure to choose wisely. If wood, be sure there are no defects, and when composite, go with a double-sided finish if needed. So you know, 44-inch railing post kits will require 7 boards high when using standard 6-inch deck boards while 6-foot privacy screen and deck fence post kits will require 11 or 12 boards, depending on the height of your first board. Same quantity applies for 96-inch in-ground post kits. The maximum board length in between posts is 5 feet for composite and 6 feet for wood. Now let's go over a classic Hoft Terrace project, where we need to create a cozy privacy outdoor space using our system. Using the Allen key, secure the anchor plate to the post with your post screws. Drill pilot holes before screwing the 3 8 inch diameter per 3 inch long minimum lag bolts, not included. Anchor post to surface by screwing into the ground. The maximum distance between your posts is 58 inch and 3 fourths for a 60 inch composite board. On the other hand, if you're using wood planks, the maximum distance between your posts will be 70 inch 3 fourths for a 72 inch wood plank. Afterward, to determine the total height of your wall, you need to add the width of your boards plus half an inch for the Hoft spacers multiplied by the number of boards you will be using. Now slide a rail block into each Hoft post railing and screw the rail block to the desired height, but not too tight yet you might need to readjust later. Here is a typical configuration that shows the positioning of the different posts. It's now time to slide in your first board. Put your level on the board and adjust the rail blocks if necessary. Do the same for every panel before adding any other boards. This will easily allow you to correct heights for your whole project before continuing. Once both you and your partner agree on the leveling, now you can tighten all rail block screws until almost flush with the rail blocks. Remember, the maximum distance between posts is 70 inch and 3 fourths. Important, your boards must be 1 inch and 1 fourth longer than the interior distance in between posts. You can now take your first board out and use as size reference for cutting all your other boards to the right length to be efficient. And now comes the fun part of the whole Hoft installation. Because the bottom board is already in place, add a spacer into each post rail, slide in your pre-cut board, and repeat. Unlike other systems, this part requires no measuring or screwing around. Press down firmly on each board while assembling so that spacer teeth bite into the wood. Once you've installed all boards, it's important to slide a section bracket into each Hoft post rail and secure into each tap board to solidify assembly. As wood settles with time, this bracket will ensure that your Hoft project remains safe and secure. Now add the caps with the set screws aligned with the post rail. Take a step back and admire what you created. For the total Hoft customization, add our accessories, exclusive to Hoft projects and available in all home improvement stores.